Hey guys, welcome back to Triple L Rustic Designs. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I made this welcome sign on our Thunder Nova 51. So the first step is picking out your material. Me and my sidekick here swung by Home Depot this morning to see what they have in store. We found a couple nice pieces of birchwood as well as some MDF. We headed back to the farm to unload and get started on the project. I made this sign on our Thunder Nova 51 130 watt laser. While I was at Home Depot, I also picked up some Fusion all-in-one spray paint. First thing I'm gonna do is open up Light Burn so we can get our design put together. I already had my border saved, so we just have to add the text that we want. As you can see here, I'm just going through different fonts, trying to see which one looks best. I am now going to place the background that I'm using for the sign inside the laser bed. Once this is complete, I went back over to Lightburn and made sure our camera was connected. By hitting Update Overlay, it displays the design on top of my board. I'm just moving the text and the artwork around until I think it looks best. After saving my project, I wanted to open up the first design that I made off camera. We are gonna stick with this design. I went ahead and removed the word family and just centered the text. I clicked Update Overlay for our new picture. Next, we are going to adjust our settings. Since I'm cutting these out completely, we need to make sure our air is on. I'm going to right click and hit preview and just view it before we send it to the laser. That looks good to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and press send. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the circle background and replace it with our MDF board that we're gonna be using. As you can see, this board's a little bit too big for our laser. You can remove this piece right here, which opens up a pass-through door. This allows you to use material up to eight feet long. Since this project is only 18 inches in diameter, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the board. Now the board will fit perfectly in our laser bed. Next thing I'm gonna do is set the focal length from our laser head to our material. By using this six millimeter piece of acrylic, I can adjust the laser bed up and down until I have it just right. This board is a little warped, so you can see the corners sticking up on both sides. I'm gonna go ahead and use two magnets to hold it down. Next, I'm gonna come back over into Lightburn and take a new picture to position my project right where we're gonna cut it. I got it right where I want it, so now we're gonna go ahead and send it to the laser. We're gonna close the lid, hit File, Enter, and press Start. When I previewed the project in Lightburn, it estimated about 20 minutes, so I went ahead and sped this video up for you. The laser's all done, so now we're gonna open it up and check out our project. You can see some of these little pieces here were a little too small, so they fell through. I'm using this blue painter's tape to try and keep the name together since it's so small and very thin. After carefully lifting up our project, I noticed that the period right after the word established fell through. If this ever happens to you, you can just open up this door, pull out the sliding tray, and see if you can find it. We got lucky, looks like I found it here. These cuts look incredible and clean, so we're gonna go ahead and pick up our project, and take it outside so we can start painting. I'm just laying out all the pieces to make sure that I have everything and didn't lose any small things along the way. All of our pieces are here, so we can go ahead and start painting.
After each coat, I waited about 20 minutes and then I continued covering them until there were no spots left. Now that our pieces are dry, I'm just setting them nicely on the board just to get an idea of where I want them before I secure it down. Now that I have everything right where I want it, I'm going to go ahead and start securing it down with our glue. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's video. As you can see, I did not secure the name on the bottom of the sign because this sign is for sale. If you're interested in making this your own personal welcome sign, make sure you look in the description below for a link to our website. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.